Jill Monroe, jacksonstilettojill.com. Hello. So, hey, how are you? My question is, there were so many vulnerabilities shown in a room full of Black men on complex subjects and layering. I want to know, and this is for any of you, have you taken any of the lessons from those conversations back into your own life and used them? And if so, what would that be? I would say the boldness and uh, and just willingness to, to truly uh, express in a, in a vulnerable and transparent way what you are truly believing and thinking and feel you're called to do. Um, and, and, and especially with, with Cassius, with regards to his faith, you know, I'm a Christian, um, you know, I love Jesus Christ. And a lot of times when it comes to faith, people will try to marginalize you. They'll say, okay, well, we don't want you to talk about that. You know, you can, you can be an actor, you can be a boxer, you can do whatever. You can talk about politics, you can talk about economics, but you can't talk about faith because that makes people uncomfortable. And somehow, Cassius found a way, and he, and he didn't always have it, but he developed a way to be completely honest and bold about his faith and his beliefs, and that being the center of his life, without making people feel like they were not included in his life. He was able to be a champion for the whole world. He was able to be uh, a representative of what it means to really uh, bring people together and, and, and cross uh, cross different uh, barriers, cultural barriers in, in uniting people. Um, there were a lot of things that he believed that were very unpopular. You know, he was not pro-integration, for instance. You know, people don't realize that. During this movement, which was trying to end segregation, he would often say, you know, you don't need to end segregation. We just need equal, uh, equal opportunity within segregation. He, that was uh, something that many black people derided him for. And at the same time, he was also not pro uh, interracial dating. There was a lot of things that were very controversial that he was very bold about and very honest about that he believed. But no one ever looked at him and said, oh, he doesn't love people or he's, um, he's, he's against people or he has uh, bigoted beliefs. People knew because they could authentically tell that he was being honest about what he thought was right and what he thought was wrong but he didn't stop you from having your opinion about what you think is right and what you think is wrong. Um, you know, I don't agree with a lot of the things that he said, but I respect, and I think most people respect that he was honest, that he didn't try to fit into a box, that he didn't say, well, I'm black, so I gotta believe this, or, uh, you know, this is uh, what's politically, you know, acceptable, so I'm gonna say this. You know, at the time when he went against the Vietnamese war, that was a very popular war. Most people, I think 70% of Americans, were uh, promoting that war. They were saying they wanted the war. And he said, no, I don't believe in going over there. I don't believe in fighting against those people. I don't believe in oppressing another nation when I'm oppressed here in my own nation. Well, several years passed and all of a sudden the narrative shifted to being on the side of what he had already been saying for several years. So, you know, not everything he said was right. Not everything he said, uh, everyone agrees with, but I think his transparency his willingness to be bold, his willingness to stand on his convictions, um, I think are, are things that uh, are commendable. I think that's what people really loved about him the most uh, is that he was fearless in and outside of the ring. Um, and I think that's something that I would like to apply to my life in whatever ways I can um, to just be more honest and to be more straightforward and to not feel like you have to um, be so polarized or be so, you know, uh, in one camp or another, but that we can all feel and think and speak freely as individuals. Um, and that that's what being human is. That's, that's really the core of your humanity is your voice and your ability to have your own free thoughts. Um, whether you're black or, or whatever cultural group you're a part of, Muslim or whatever your belief systems are, you don't have to be, um, I'm trying to think of the right word, but, uh, you don't have to have an agenda that you're attached to.